Hi, I'm Manil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Crack SAT Math 2. Here is an excellent question based on ratios. There are two bags A and B containing red and green balls only. The ratio of red to green balls is 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 3 in the bags A and B respectively. If the balls in the two bags are mixed in the proportion of 3 is to 4, then the ratio of red and green balls in the container is what? Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we'll try to understand the concept of ratio and also proportion with the help of this particular example. Uh, let's try to understand. There are two bags, right? And these bags are called bags A and B for us. In the first bag, the ratio of red to green ball, let's say R for red and G for green, the ratio for red to green ball is 1 is to 2. And in bag B, the ratio of red to green ball is 2 is to 3. Now we want to mix them in the ratio of 3 is to 4. And then find what is the ratio of red to green balls. Correct? How do we do that? Now when we say that they are mixed in proportion of, so the word here is proportion. So like 3x and 4x, so we have to get the same quantities from both the ends, right? How do we get the same quantities? Well, when I say that the ratio is 1 is to 2, that is to say if I take 3 balls, in that case 1 is red and 2 are green. And here, if I take 5 balls, in that case 2 are red and three are green. How do I make the same quantity x in both? And then we could actually work out a number. You can make the same quantity x in both if you multiply this term by 5 and this term by 3. Correct. So if you do that, what do you get? 5 is to 10. So the ratio of red to green will be 5 to 10 and in this case it will be 6 to 9. So now you know the total is 15 each. right? So in each bag now we have same number of balls. Do you get the concept? We get the same number of balls in both. Now this x value same, which is 15 for both of them. We need to get 3 of this kind and 4 of that kind. So if I multiply this by 3, then what do we get? 3 times 5 is 15 and the green balls will be 30. If I multiply this by 4, since we are picking 3 of these sets, 4 of these sets, right? So 4 times 6 will be 24 and 4 times 9 will be 36. So now we know the ratio of red and green balls, right? So red balls, we'll add these red balls, right? How much do you get? When you add 24 and 15, you get 4 and 5 as 9, 2 plus 1 as 3. On the other hand, if you add 30 and 36, you get 66. So what we get here is a ratio of red and green ball as 39 is to 66. Does make sense to you, right? So this is a very good way of understanding proportions and ratios. Now the answers are given to us in simplified form. We can actually divide both sides by 3. So if I divide this by 3, we get 13 here and 22 there. So that is our option B. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we could actually solve the question based on ratios. So let's recall what we did. So we have two bags A and B. Whenever I say red and green balls are in the ratio of 1 is to 2, that means for every three ball, one is red and two is green. Here, for every four balls taken, two are red and three are green. We want to mix them in the ratio of 3 is to 5, right? So when you mix them, we have to take 3 of x and 4 of x. Means x means we have to make their quantities same, right? So we could make 
common denominator here is 15. Correct? So, let's see, if I have total of 15 in each, then we could do 3 times of that and 4 times of this to get our numbers. So, that is the concept behind solving such questions. So, I hope this technique will help you to solve many questions related in much lesser time just by following a logic. So, this logic helps to solve many ratios and proportional questions. I hope you like it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.